guess who's back? It's me guys, I've been at home for a while with a really, really bad migraine, but I'm back. Now for the new viewers among you, my name is Jill and this is Premiere Basics, a weekly series where I teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. And a lot of you have been asking, is it possible to make an instant edit to the beat of the music? Well guys, yes it freaking is! So let's not wait any longer and let's get this party started. Now first, we need a dope song. So let's go to audio.com, which was one of our sponsors in a previous tutorial. Now let's look for a cool hip hop song, like this one. Now if you also want to get access to audio, then check out the description below. I've provided a link and a nice coupon code, which will give you 20% off on the Audio Pro subscription. Okay, now once you've got your music, drop it straight into your timeline in Premiere Pro. Then listen to it and place a marker on every beat where you want to cut your video. Now placing a marker can be done by hitting the M key on your keyboard. Doesn't work, then simply head over to the keyboard shortcuts menu. Now, take your time for this and once it's done, your timeline will look a bit like this. Now the next step is going to the project panel and going through all of your footage. So double click it, watch it in the source monitor and place an in point by pressing I and an out point by pressing O. Now do this for every clip you want to use. Whoa, what? The hell, you guys are amazing at editing, but are you advanced? Do you know how to work with shortcuts? Do you know how to edit a multi-camera sequence? Or work with advanced animations in Premiere Pro? No? Well, don't be worried. Just head over to the first link in the description down below, which will bring you over to our advanced editing class in Premiere Pro. We go over all the things that I just mentioned and so much more. A basic explanation about workflow quickly leads to advanced shortcuts, the difference between fit and scale to frame size, a pancake editing workflow, editing multi-camera sequences, working with closed captions, making animations with keyframes, creating presets, using track mats, masking techniques, and so much more. Now, if you click on the link below, you will also get two weeks of free access to Skillshare, which is the ideal way to take your time to watch the advanced editing class. So don't wait any longer and click that link down below. And once that's done, we're gonna make it super magical here. Select all of your shots. This can be either Ctrl A to select everything, or you can hold Shift while clicking to make the selection more selective. So the first clip that you select will be the first one to put into the timeline. The second one will be the one after that, and so on. So think about this when selecting your clips, unless if you want it to be randomly. Then head over to the clip menu right here on top and select Automate to Sequence. Now a new window will pop up, and first off, set the ordering. And this can be either the selection order or the sort order. But what's the difference, you might ask? Well, if you select sort ordering, it will just place the clips like they are sorted top to bottom in the project panel. But if you randomly selected your clips instead of taking them all at once, you can select selection ordering. And this will make it a bit more selective and random. Now next, we're going to select the placement. This can be at the unnumbered markers, which are actually the ones we placed in our timeline in the beginning. Now set the method to override edit and then use the in and out range. Very important, make sure that your playhead is set in the beginning of the timeline because it will look for markers behind your playhead and not in front. Then hit OK and BAM! Your footage is cut to the beat. Now let's have a look. Now that's awesome, right? It's the ideal way for editing music videos and vlogs. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, so don't forget to give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and as always, stay creative.